So a deuterio canonical book was a book disputed. Right. Examples of books. Revelation. Revelation. Okay. Hebrews. Yes. Two Peter. Yes. Two John. Yes. Three John. Yes. These are the kinds of books that were disputed. Yes. Okay. Notice, please note, yes. not the Gospels, which is what you were trying to present it no, as no, earlier. I never said that. No, no, you did. You said the Gospels I, quite I, clearly. No, 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 honestly, I never said that. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, if I said worry. that, I'll, I don't know. If I said that, I, I retract that because why? I want to make this very clear, actually, right now, because I'm happy you said this. I want to make it very clear that from my reading of primary source materials uh, of early church fathers, yeah. that it's quite uh, abundant their references to the four gospels. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, no, no, there's, there's no doubt about that. The 27 books of the New Testament. Yeah. yeah. Is it central to the Christian faith that we recognize all 27 books as the word of God? So th that's a question that Christians have disagreement upon. Okay. Yeah. All cri but to be clear, all Christians do recognize the 27 books. So the, the question of its centrality is something that we can discuss. But they but but they do recognize them. By contrast, Muslims are in disagreement about their hadiths. So if you're going to make any argument about what is the impact of this disputation about canonicity, yes. you should be consistent I am. and apply it to Islam I, I, as well. I, I totally agree with you. Yeah? If any hadith has been shown uh, when, when rigorously uh, interrogated from a historical process that it does not have a it does not have a link a provenance back to the prophet Muhammad. you're changing your argument mate you've just subtly changed your argument you've stood here for the last 40 minutes yes. making an argument that confuses preservation with canonization and basing that on the disputes amongst early Christians when I reversed that and said but Muslims disagree with the hadith. The, the hadith now you're changing your argument oh. and you think because you're you're introducing something new you're now saying that oh it's actually based upon can we link the book back to its first people yeah. yes. so now you're changing the thing that we've but just been all, discussing about for all, minutes. That's what all historians do no no all historians make consistent arguments no, 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 no. you've let, just changed let, your let argument in the last five let minutes <laughs> He's abandoning the argument about canonicity no, no, because he's he's realized he's realized that he's it. realized that if he lays down principles about canonicity they will they will blow up in your face okay. in terms of Islam let's talk, let's and talk. the fact that Muslims well, we cannot have, agree about Muslims yes you do no hold yeah. on hold on, hold on. Can you prove that so you don't have a list of books that are reliable to read no so you don't have hadiths that are reliable no we have hadiths that are reliable that's a different question okay no, but you said and can you read them Al Bukhari which yeah. is According to the Sunni discourse, the most authentic book of Hadith, yeah? Yeah. By, by whose judgment? Unless it's embarrassing, in which case the Dawah team say it's not. Because we quote lots of Sahih, Bukhari Hadith okay, in this park. Can you talk to and, them and, about and Muslims, I, I, and Muslims say that know, they're not believable. I don't, I don't know what they say. I don't, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Bukhari said that these are reliable, and, and then this so other guy said that said, they no, didn't. These ones are not yet. Okay. Tell me, as a Sunni Muslim, yes. why do you reject Shia Hadith? Yeah. So they would say, for example, like Hussein, which is Ali's son, is, is higher ranked than Jesus Christ, for example. Yeah? Yeah. We would say no. Yeah. We would say Jesus Christ is higher ranked than say all the prophets are more high, higher than them. So the point, what, what I'm trying to say is that I'm glad you their, said this. Their, hadith, their hadith go back yeah. to the Imam. So for example, what does Jafar Sadiq say? Uh, you know what I call the chain of narration? Yes. I call it the chain of fabrication. Ta take for example Surah 1. Surah 1. Surah 1. Yeah? Yeah. 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 First verse. Right. Give, give me the chain of narration for that. Okay. What's the chain of narration? Half Hafs and Shu'aba narrated to Asim. Hafs, did you say Hafs? Yeah. There are, there are hadiths that talk about Hafs is not alive. No, there isn't. In the Musnad of Imam Ahmad, Volume 1, Hadith number 1268 or 1267 in an online Arabic edition, Muhammad is quoted saying, Whoever reads Qur'an and learns it by heart, he will be granted intercession for ten of his family for whom hell was due. Its chain of narration is graded as da'if jiddan, or very weak. Here are more comments on this same hadith in Arabic that provide us with more information why the presence of hafs in a chain of narration makes a narration unreliable. Great Muslim scholars such as Al-Hafid and Imam Al-Bukhari likewise claimed hafs is rejected. Hafs used to take books from people and copy them and not return them. And more importantly, we read here, وَكَانَ كَذَّابًا 
which means, and he was a liar. He copied other scholars' books and put their material in his own. He borrowed a book from Shu'aba, but did not return it. In other words, according to these Islamic sources, Hafs was unreliable, untrustworthy, a thief, and a plagiarist who took materials or narrations from others, but made it appear like they were his own. And worse than that, he was a liar. You're saying that we can trust the fact, even though we have Wash Quran and Duri Quran and Hafs Quran, we can trust it because we've got these chains that link him back to Muhammad. So what I'm saying, and what I'm saying, this is what I'm asking you, because you, you've tried to throw a blinder again, thinking that we don't know. The question that he asked you was, what is the document that narrates these chains of narration that you are describing? And then you went, and you, then you went to this right, no, this no, Quranic okay, no, no, fair, text. Fair. No, no, fair enough. There was a misunderstanding in the question. That's I think I was it was asking. pretty obvious the first time. But anyway, <laughs> you're using a document that was written after Hafs himself no, no, to I justify can... this oh, John, idea of the chain of narration. John, 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 that is exactly what Jason asked you. That is exactly what. Is that what you asked him? No, I'm not misrepresenting. No, I'm just saying. Ask him. Ask him. Narrated to Hafs. Hafs narrated to and also shot back, but also others. Many others. I'm giving you others. And then they narrated to many, many others as well. So you have mass transmission at each stage. It's the same thing being presented. Where did you get that list of names from? So this is from Tabakat al Qurra, which is dated to when? I don't know what it's dated. It's dated to. After half, you're, you're, you're relying on hadiths that were written 200 years later. No, no. That la and then a later scholar looks at those hadith and constructs a series of Who premises. Told you that? This is a good point. The, 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 this, 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 the, the, the scholar that you've Which mentioned, one? the one this who talks about point. the three criteria, you, you, you based. He's picked up a yeah. No, no, many people was, have was, he, was he written? Was what, was he writing after Bukhari? Yes. Right. You've so, given us three no, criteria, you, you, yeah. one of which is textual, and yes. there are clearly textual variants in the earliest copies of the Quran. Right. In those earliest <laughs> manuscripts, there are erasures. So someone's come along and rubbed something out. What, can you read that over? There are tapings over. Yeah. where someone has tried to cover words yeah. and then there are insertions of writing. Okay. So someone has come along to the manuscript yeah, yeah. later let's and added words. All right, that's, that's what you okay? Think. Yeah, no, that's a fact. Okay, no problem. And they are at variance with the yeah. 1924 version of the Quran, right. which is no the problem. Quran let's you let's believe but and most Muslims don't, don't. use. The Hafs Quran is batil or false. It cannot be trusted nor be considered the word of God. Therefore, the Muslim world is seriously misguided for blindly accepting the Qur'an transmitted by a known liar and dishonest thief. Because to be fair, yeah, yeah. what I haven't heard yeah. is Muhammad clearly stating what you're saying that he what, stated. What, what, is he, uh, what do you want him to okay, say? He said write it down. I agree with that. Okay. But I didn't hear Muhammad say that that is one of the criterion by which the Qur'an is going to be preserved. This was a key question because your argument was yeah. that your chain of narration is reliable and science of hadith. And I asked the key question, yes. where was your criteria for the science of hadith? Is it, does it have any divine authority? Yes. And you're struggling to, to give uh, us the answer. Uh, 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 and then it comes okay, later okay, okay, yeah. you, and you're reading this later uh, yes. way. Yes, yes, back into time. Okay. Back into you're, time. You're retroactively no, 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 taking no, no, your, this, the opinions this, of your scholars and putting John, them into John, the John, words John, of your John, prophet. John. I said that if the Prophet Muhammad, we know from the Sunnah Fiqh, which is the principles of jurisprudence, if he ever. Was that written? The principles of jurisprudence. Yeah. That's it's a whole uh, it's a science. Okay, where, 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 the, which, so key which book are you quoting when you say that? So the first person to have a, a, a formalized book on it is a Shafi'i. You wrote a book called the Salah. And when, was, when was that written? Probably about 250 AH. 250 AH. It's not in the no. same league as us, bro. What are you talking about, man? Because all of the yeah, New I, Testament. I, 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 all all, all of our New Testament, I, no, Testament was written not, closer it's... to the time than the sources you're using. <laughs> You are on stage attacking the Christian faith because we believe in these creeds that came later and yet you believe documents like Bukhari and the scholars that were writing after Bukhari so they're all much later. So is lateness a problem or not? You keep saying if lateness is an issue, which I do believe it is an issue when you're talking about fundamental creed issues. Right, so... Thank you, thank you. Lateness is an issue when talking about fundamental creed issues. The Prophet said, he told the people, listen to it, you're talking about preservation. He told the people that not one verse of the Quran could be accepted 
unless at least two people testify to each of the verses in the book. Your source for that is 280 years later. No, it's not. I you said it's Sahih Bukhari, right? No, I didn't say that. So, well, what, which hadith is it? In the science. The source for this hadith. Is that the one you've just given? No, who no, said yeah. to you? About the science. Uh, science. I, I so, which hadith is it? I, I've, I've told you this one more time. I'm going to say one more time, yeah? You say, so you're depending on a source that that is 2019 years after the Prophet. The person will turn around and say, but that guy was collating information from the time of the Prophet. But yet you have a problem with the Council of Nicaea, who did exactly the no, same. No, no, it's not the same, because let me tell you why it's not no, the same. No, they came to conclusions on theology, it's not preservation How did they history. come to those conclusions, Mohammed? They came to, they consulted... They used three criterion evidence for Khaled. Oh, you tell me. No, 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 you've just made a... You're, you're, you're making... The Council of Nicaea. You're, yeah, the Council of Nicaea, what were the three strands of argument that they used? No, 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 you're the, you're the one who has stood on stage with David Wood, attacking the Christian faith because of the Council of Nicaea. Yeah, I said to you in the beginning, why is Athanasius... We addressed the Athanasius No, you never. Yeah, we I did. Said, why yeah, we did. I said, why is Athanasius given that. the authority to, to choose no. 27 books? No, hold on one second. He wrote that. a... He wrote, That's number one. You don't even know that letter. What was the letter? Which one? The, the, the letter that you're talking about. Short list. What, what is it? What, what is it's the letter? Short it was a Paschal letter by Athanasius. Okay. Who was he writing to? I don't have to know that. Oh, no. I'll tell you who he was writing to. Because he was, he was bishop and leader of his churches and he was instructing them about which books they can use. Now tell me, was he using the list in an exclusive sense or an inclusive sense? You're saying the canon of scripture is yep. not influential faith? No, what I'm saying is that the canon of scripture emerged from our faith. Perfect. So in other words... Which answers the question right, right. about where Athanasius so, so, gets his authority so from. If, if someone rejects the fact that the New Testament has, is comprising of 27 books, does that have any theological implications for that Christian? Yeah, but not in a not in a not in the sense that would affect their salvation. Okay, say for example. So like Luther, yes. for example, disputed the, the the letter of James. Okay. That would not affect his salvation. It means that he so, was. I believe he was wrong. Yes. But I don't believe that that is something so fundamental that that makes Luther that makes Luther a non-Christian. So for them, so no problem. So you don't need to believe in the New Testament. No, no, don't put words in my mouth. We're talking again. I never said that. No, no, but, no, no, but That's what you just no, said. No, no, you do no, this all the time. No, no, no. You're saying that if you don't believe, if someone does not believe, that 27 books of the New Testament, yeah. for example, looks at the book of Revelation, yeah. and they say that this stuff is not from God, I don't believe it's from God. Jesus doing this and that. That's fine. Right, so let me ask you this question. No, this no, will answer your question. Yeah, yeah. It will answer your question. Yeah, yeah. Did the first followers of Jesus have a New Testament? Did they? Which ones? Did the first followers of Jesus have a New Testament? Which ones? The very first. The very, very first. Uh, the very, the ones that. I the very, very first, Mohammed. I'm speaking to you in plain English. Did they have a New Testament? No. So they believed without a book, meaning you can believe without the book. Okay, fine. Thank you. Case closed. Okay, so it is obviously better yes. if you know the scriptures, <laughs> and I can't take lectures from Mohammed Hijab. <laughs> Because Mohammed Hijab has freely admitted that for 1400 years Muslims have not agreed about their hadiths. I made a point that the Quran makes a claim about history. It says that there was an Injil given to a man called Isa. There is absolutely no evidence for this claim at all. Whereas the New Testament is quoted from the first century continuously to the present day. That is sufficient evidence for the reliability of the New Testament.